There Steps we go. up, hit from behind, down he goes. Oh, my hands and it's picked off. Hit from behind, down he goes. The exclamation point for the defense. I'm assuming you've watched every play of every game. What'd you take away from it? We've got really good players, uh, very talented players. I think the D-line has depth, and they have some guys that played their best football last year. And the same thing I see at the linebacker position. I know Quay and McDuff have kind of been the guys at the end that were playing. And then the back end, you know, we have maybe the best corner in football. He's a fun guy to be around, and he loves ball, and he's super talented in job. And then you get Keyshawn, who we were really excited to have back playing nickel. And then you get Xavier to play safety, seeing all the things that he could do. And then the younger guys that got experience here that did give us some depth. And now we have competition for other spots that are open. It's so excited to be around this whole team. At the end of the year, watching in the playoffs, they were so hot and playing so well. It's one of the reasons I wanted to be here. How will your defense look different than what they're used to seeing? We're going to attack. Uh, I told the players I want to lead the NFL in effort, and I want to lead the NFL in how hard we play, and I want to lead the NFL in taking the ball away. I want people to see the confidence that our players are playing with in themselves and with their teammates and showing them how much they care about each other and this team by how hard they play and how hard they run to the ball and the effort that they give. Intercepted, coming back with a Jair Alexander. What do you do as the defensive coordinator to encourage that kind of culture where takeaways are just part of your DNA? You prioritize it, and it's not just talk. It's every day in meetings showing them how we're going to do it and teaching how we're going to do it. And then it has to show up in practice, and then it needs to show up in the games. That is priority number one. We have to take the ball away. Kenny Clark said, your defense will allow the guys up front to be way more disruptive. How so? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna line up with our hand in the ground, and we're gonna try to get off the ball and key the ball and get upfield as fast as we can and be disruptive and create a new line of scrimmage. That's probably the biggest difference for those guys up front right now. Get their butts up in the air and then let's go forward and attack. I'm sure some of the guys are excited about doing that. In general, would you say defensive guys are more fun to coach? I don't know if they're more fun. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever asked me that question. I think some position groups, as I've learned, it's like today, I went in all three meetings. After I was done as a unit, sat in with the DBs, way different than going to linebackers. <laughs> I mean, different personalities, yeah. uh, different energy in the room, and then you go to the D-line, and it's, the beauty of it is, though, you piece those all together, and that's when you get going. In that first session you had with the media in Green Bay, you could see you're passionate about football. What do you love about the game that makes you that passionate? Oh, there's so much I love about it. I love working with the staff. I love being around the locker room. I love to compete. Uh, I can't wait till we get out on the field for, for mini camps and, and once, once we get to practice and piece it all together. I want to try to do my best to make every one of these players get to where they want to be and achieve all their goals. And even greater than that, I want to win here. And I want to help Matt, I want to help the Packers, I want to help everybody involved. I win as many games as we can. You know, that's what drives me, that's what motivates me.